Welcome back to Wii U Month at GameTangents.com. And this time we have a little Nintendo Land for you. We'll be playing some, uh, some of the Metroid minigame. There are quite a few minigames in this game. And you can see here, it's kind of like a theme park. This may not come as a shock to you. But other visitors have arrived here at the park. The process is really bustling. When you connect to the internet and use neighbors, people from around the world can come to visit your park. Isn't that an exciting thought? You can tap on anything that you want to learn more about. You can also make posts for people all over the world to see. Hooray! Touch the icon in the bottom left to make a post. So, we have here our little monitor friend Monita, who likes to give us instructions on what to do when you're in the game. A quick hello will do, or you could get creative. And with that, my series of speeches about Nintendo Land is finished. Don't worry if you forget any of my tips. If you do, just touch the giant red button in the closet. That will let you relaunch any of my helpful explanations. So Monita likes to act as somewhat of a guide to show you around the park, and since the last time I played, there has been a lot more activity uh, attracted to my park. So I actually have people now, or me's, walking around, enjoying the attractions, and there seems to be a lot more, uh, just more noise and activity. So you can see here how the screen tilts, and that is because the game is on a motion sensor, and when you tilt the Wii U pad, you can see how it's kind of skewed one, one angle over the other on the screen. If I tilt it back and forth, then you'll see how that moves. That's because on the Wii U pad, you can hold it up and look around the park, and in a 360 degree uh, motion or range of motion. So we're just looking around the park here for an activity. Haven't tried all of the attractions yet, so I can't really describe them at this point. So ultimately, we settle here with a little bit of the Metroid minigame. And there, there are two different types of minigames. There's one where you're on the ground in a third-person shooter style. The one we're going to do here is Fight in the Air. So here we'll be in a vehicle that flies. So we'll be in the arenas flying around instead of on foot. So as you see here, in order to give us instruction for the tutorial, you have to look at the gamepad. And again, like I said in a previous um, Wii U month Let's Play, uh, you cannot look, you cannot record the Wii U pad visual. So 
really it's just showing you how to shoot. On the pad, what I'm looking at is the actual targeting. So there's a crosshair on the Wii U pad. You hold the Wii U pad up, and you can turn the, the Wii U pad or, or just basically just position the Wii U pad around the room. You can, like I said before, 360 degree angle. That's how you target. That's how you move around in this game. So this game requires you to stand up, holding up the Wii U pad. You can think of it as like using it as a steering to some extent, but you you do steer by using the analog sticks. But it helps you to... Maybe it's more like holding a turret and turning the turret around, rotating the turret, and that's how it works. So the Wii U pad has the crosshair, and you can focus in on enemies. You can zoom in on them and attack them from afar and that can be done using the Wii U pad. So I believe here what I'm trying to figure out is how to charge up an attack that will obliterate that wall. And I haven't figured it out yet, so you can see I'm just doing a normal attack. And you, what you have to do is hold down the button and let it charge for a few seconds. So here is a little live action. So that completes that very simple first stage. And you can see there that there are power-ups. You can get those power-ups by breaking the, um, the prisms that contain the power-ups. And it'll give you wider shots, faster, faster fire rates. Uh, there are other types of power-ups. I think there's a shield. And of course, some of those... Um, power-ups or prisms will contain health, in case your health is damaged. So again, as I'm playing, I'm actually standing up, holding the Wii pad, or the Wii U pad, out in front of me, looking at the screen on the Wii U pad to aim, target, and fire. 
there's a crosshair right in the middle of the screen. Unfortunately, that doesn't translate too well for this video, because on the TV screen, this is what you see. It's almost like watching a replay, or from a third-person perspective. And that was not there. Uh, yeah, you can boost, and boost helps to get away from a volley of attacks, like that one there that I did not boost out of the way of, because I didn't see it happening or coming. So, when there are volleys of attacks like that, sometimes they come with multiple missile fire, you'll want to get out of the way quickly. about those missiles and the the number just the sheer number of enemies as the uh, final waves start coming at you sometimes they come in very large groups and many of them are firing missiles at you at the same time that round and that concludes this episode of let's play wii u and we will return with a little more metroid from nintendo land in part two thanks for watching